Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For any first time viewers, I'm Jesse Rebirth. Today we're going to be opening up this Batman Returns statue. Now if you didn't see the last video, it was Batman 89. And they're almost like cookie cutter statues. And they're meant to be that way. They, they go together. They're a set. So the back is the 89 base, which would be the front of the other one. In the front of this one is the returns base and that's kind of the most unique thing about these i absolutely love that they go together in that way i think the base is incredible and it's funny because between these two well i actually opened them at the same time because i had to power through it with their huge boxes uh they're only one fourth but i actually watched batman 89 again and I've watched Batman Returns, both with Karen, because she has never sat down and went all the way through either of those movies. She's watched them in the background and this and that, but, you know, those were really damn good movies. I don't care what people say, where it's Batman killed people in them, or Batman did this or that. Uh, Batman Returns is extremely dark. And I think that was a really good Batman movie. Maybe even one of my favorites. Just everything about it, it being at Christmas time, the snow with the contrast of his deep black, the Batmobile driving through snow, just everything about it was so good. This right here is my favorite setup for this statue. I think it's going to be really cool when we get the 89s and returns up together. We'll do that in the third part, third and final part of this. But uh, let's go ahead, let's dive into this one and get them open so you can see them. All right. So, right away, we already knew this was gonna be the returns oh, version. But we're gonna have a Michael Keaton head sculpt that is pretty good the paint's not bad too but you can see a little spot where it would be it does need some touching up but it is a good head sculpt might not be that prime one version but the statue is also a couple years older than that Take a look at this one. This is the one where we have Catwoman. It's scratched him, I believe. I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, come on. All right. Got it. Some red on the ear, got some little scratches. The blood could definitely be better, but that could be fixed. These are good head sculpts, though. They are good. This is the head sculpt that we were missing in the 89. So as you can see, it's just normal. There is no scratches, like after he crashes the airplane. I do kind of like the cuts on his face, though. So, <clears throat> what I was thinking, though, look at that texture. Very nice. I was hoping there was going to be a head looking to the left to make the uh, battering fit, like, just to make it look right. But I went back and looked it up, and there is not a head that looks to the left. And the statue's kind of angled to where I don't think it would work that way either. We got a penguin. We're going to have to hook his arms on. Very uh, basic. Pretty cute. We got the battering that he uses on the Red Circus Gang. Where he types it in. It's all dee 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 dee. And it runs into them and hits each person. I thought that was more black in the movie. Here's our little go that way. Huh. 
It's like a little bonus statue within a statue. That is how their flippers go, right? Mm -hmm. Has to be. Got the bomb that he hooks onto that fat guy and kills him. Which when you were a kid, you almost didn't think anything of him killing all these people. Uh, we got his little, uh, little grapple thing where chink, chink, hooks on both sides. You can see these are the returns gauntlets. It doesn't have that little extra piece right there. And it has these ruffles, kind of like uh, Power Ranger gloves by that point. We got another hand. This will be the one that holds this battering. Which they look kind of strange the way they designed him to hold the battering. I don't think that would be the choice I would go with for him. We have the returns gauntlet with his grapple gun. This is, uh, ugh, these are so delicate, but it's slightly crooked. I don't want to mess with it. Oh no, maybe it's not. It just looked like it from my angle. Um, when he shoots it right behind that clown and the clown that's holding Selena Kyle, he breaks the wall off and hits him in the head and knocks him out. And then she gets her, uh, stun gun. So right here we got part of our arm. You can see it's textured. This one has a peg that sticks out and goes into it. Very nice texture to these though. So we got a fist. Now this is a fist where that's actually filled in. On our other one, we just had two kind of open fists. Now another arm. They really did a good job capturing the texture of his suit though. Really good. But it's his ripped cowl. Bruce Wayne, why are you dressed up like Batman? Because he is Batman, you moron. All right. So it's like hooked in there. Pretty cool. I like it. It's a good hand. A lot of switch outs right here let's go ahead and go one deeper we got the same base as the 89 version but what's so cool about this so this is 89 spin it around this is returns i really think the bases the base to each of them are really standout portion limited edition number 25 of 35 it's when he's driving through the snow. Very cool. Group 18 Productions. Now I do know that the guy who is running this group is leaving the group because he's been offered to help direct a licensed company of some kind. To direct them in their pursuits and I believe it was for I want to say he said DC but I don't know if he actually did say I just know it was licensed you know it looks really good really good you can even see where the zipper where it hides, but as someone who uses 3D printing, you can almost see like there was layer lines. But their painting and everything hid them. Look at this. You can see like the stitching of the boots. Oh, here's that Nike. So these are different than the 89, but you can still see it's like a Nike shoe. And they have these covers 
that go on it. Oh, see, they're Jordans. How cool is that? So even Batman was wearing Jordans in the 90s. I think we all were. All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Very snug fit. You can see the returns. He's got that layered ab, very more streamlined look. And our cape. I would say this is the exact same cape for the 89 version. Now we're gonna have to something because at the time of pre-ordering yeah, there's nothing in the bottom it was said that Tony Mays would be making custom capes for these but I do not think that ever came through I might have I might have missed that part to the updates and everything because I had not been on Facebook for a couple of years basically I only used it to deal with statue stuff we're gonna have two options okay this is the one that where his hand goes up now the thing about that is is it's an F so there's that one which I think the upward looks strange on the way the statue's angled. That one. So what I think we're going to do, at least to get this started, because it's a whole production. You got to take the whole thing apart and put it back together. We're going to do the arm out. Put the cape on. See, I, I'm wondering if there was some logistical problems about making fabric capes for him. But I would picture you would just make some pegs that would run in, and then you'd have your fabric hooked to those pegs. Now, you did not see this head in this video because this came with the 89 version, and I don't know if that was an accident, but because we got number 25 for both of them, maybe that's how all the pieces and then whoever packed them didn't quite know what went with who. But as long as we got them, I do know that some people, they're offering replacements right now, so I do think some people didn't fully get what they needed. All right, I do like it though. It does look really good on him. You can really see the returns coming together. So it's cool. The bomb when he's walking with it. That's that scene. Very popular scene. It was in like all the promotional materials like TV Guide and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and check this out. I love the base, especially with this suit. He has like this like, powder on him. They did a good job with this cowl. And if you wouldn't, I put returns and 89 side by side. You guys are really going to get to see the difference between them. If if you're initiated, like all of us 80s and 90s kids are, you know the difference of these suits. But when you see them side by side, you can really see the difference. His, the Returns cowl looks more streamlined. And uh, this is actually where... Now, I always forget his name. 
It's Jose Fernandez or Hernandez? Fernandez. Fernandez, okay. yes. Jose Fernandez, the guy from Iron Studios. Uh, Iron Head Studios, my bad. The one who designed the BVS Batman suit. This was his first entry. Well, he did the Catwoman cowl, and then he was able to work on this cowl. So what you're seeing with this cowl was actually his doing. And then he worked on the Forever suit, and then he worked on, uh, did he work on George Clooney? I, I know he did the Forever Val Kilmer suit, so the Panther one. I'd have to dig a little deeper, but really digging this. I think it looks really good. With his hand out, I think we literally just have that one option. You can get rid of the bomb and put just a fist. There's that. I think the bomb is like just a nice little extra calling to this piece though. So I think you would want to have that bomb. But, now we can put this one, and that one would look silly if it wasn't for Huh, that one doesn't want to sit. It's almost like the magnet. See if both of them are like that. It's like there's like it's slightly flexible. Oh yeah, that one fits perfect. This one has like a bit of flex to it, which is so strange because they're the exact same head. Just a different paint job. That is pretty cool though. Huh. <laughs> it's it's silly with his arm up, like he's gonna do that with uh, the Bruce Wayne head on. I do think the way Prime One dealt with this, where it's you can have Batman and Bruce Wayne with him is obviously the the best way to do it but this is definitely capturing like an iconic scene where he just rips the mask and you can tell it's rubber in that moment where he just pulls it off and Max Shrek is like Bruce Wayne why are you dressed as Batman like oh, and I love that it goes up now I don't know how the art direction went for this who decided what but Hot Toys actually did the same thing when they released their Batman Returns. It came with the Bruce, well, it came with two. It came with a Bruce Wayne and a Batman, and you could take your head off your tuxedo Bruce Wayne, put it on, and it came with a ripped cow, which is kind of upsetting that it didn't come with two Bruce Wayne heads, so... You know, one thing I will say though, now his hair does look good, but I one time ordered a uh, Thomas Wayne, uh, yeah, Thomas Wayne head that we put on the back burner for so long because we got so busy, but it's for this Flashpoint Batman. And I ordered this head and they printed it and it was like almost printed so well that it the hair looked bad there was all these like weird uh, it's almost like when you print nothing can be smooth it's all done up in tiny layers and if the layers are small enough and the sculpt is fine enough and everything you never see those layers but the hair came out really weird so I had to end up ordering my own printer printing it and it didn't have the same problem but if you come in here really close don't know if you can see it, but it almost looks like how you can see lines going through his hair. It's almost like there's layer lines 
in here. You can see them. Can you see these on the, the thing? And it's so strange because our heads got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed because I absolutely did not want to put out something that looked like this. And it's just kind of shocking that like a production warehouse or the print or whatever have these in it and nobody was like, maybe we should reprint that. I do, you know, there's a quote that's like, perfect is the enemy of done or good or whatever it is. And then there's some people that say, uh, done is better than perfect, but I kind of think it should be both. I think it should be done and perfect. I do like the coloring to this head more, but I don't like how it doesn't sit all the way down. And it's just because maybe the magnet isn't strong enough in there. I don't think you can really tell unless you're right here, but it's like, it's like just that much that it don't go down enough. You could tell. You can? Mm -hmm. But the other one sits flush, which is so strange. Let's see, look. See how flush that one sits? Mm -hmm. Like that one sits perfect. And these things. I would say they're absolutely the same sculpt. Let's see here. I think they printed two of them. They're ever slightly so different. This one doesn't have as many layer lines, but it's almost like this one's hair, you can't notice it as much. But if you come in here, you can see how the paint kind of blocked it up but you see all these little like they're layers and it's where because it's building up like a pyramid and when it reaches up here it just does funky stuff and it's almost like if you have too perfect of a printer and you can fill this like you can fill it it feels like like a zipper almost like you hear that sound But anyway, it's weird because we ended up doing the head on a frozen. And the any cubic could almost do it, but the any cubic like just did not have the power to do it right. It kept shifting it and it had problems. The any cubic's a great printer, but not for what I was trying. So I had to upgrade to a frozen and that finally got the heads perfect. And the worst part is, is we have the Bruce Wayne and we we're just making it fit just right. And we have Thomas completely ready. We just botched a mold of him and we gotta do it again. And the thing was is my job took off with its hours through the roof. I just never had the time to get it done. And I just let it keep falling and falling and falling. And it's the best head sculpt you've ever seen. The artist, amazing guy he does the best sculpts out there and it's like he nailed the arkham style with the comic style i was asking for and it's like the best head sculpt the world has never seen yet i'll give you all the details once we get that thing done and ready but it's some it's basically at the top of the list right now of priorities and we have it for one six we did it and we have both bruce from Arkham Origins and Thomas for 1.6 and it's like the heads are so good just so good if you go to some of my old videos and you watch after the credits I would sneak that picture in there because we were growing to putting it out so quick and then all the time fell apart and it's just like when you were working as much as I was at the time 
you would just come home beat and I just it just kept falling to the back burner it's also why I only put out a couple videos that year but uh it's also kind of one of those things where it's like you fear finishing something because you're worried about this same type of stuff and the only thing I can say is though is that uh I don't want to put this as a standard like it's okay to put it out like that because ours is nothing like that but it's like I think it's time to just get it done but for this statue obviously well they're customs I think this is one of the greatest bases I've ever seen for the 89 and the returns like this is so cool this was a selling point for me I do not think I would put them as uh, Michael Keaton. Let me know what you think about this piece. Did they capture the Batman Returns that you remember? Uh, are we ever going to see Michael Keaton in the Flash movie with everything going around with that? I loved the suit they had for him. I want to see what they did with that. They built the cave. They had him in it. We'll see. But let me know what you think, guys. Uh, Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Share it with a friend if you want them to see it. But most of all, guys, keep buying toys.